Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy. I'm Jonathan, and welcome to yet another Java Chess Engine tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to divide the perf routine. And this is uh, mostly necessary for debugging purposes. It will make the debugging so much faster and much easier, and you won't have to be randomly wondering what move caused the error, what situation was this error caused, but you'll be able to pinpoint it, and that'll make debugging so much nicer. All right, so let me first show you what a divided perf routine looks like. I'm going to run this. I set the starting position just to the, uh, the default chest starting position, and I've set the depth to 3, and there shouldn't be any errors at a depth of 3. Good, we have a total of 8,902, which if you remember in the perfdata.txt uh, file, that I had uh, created at a depth of 3. Um, there are, whoops, this is for a different move. From the starting position, depth of 3, there are 8,902 moves. So let's look at this uh, perfed divide routine. Instead of calling perfed, I call perfed root, which does the dividing. So uh, if you remember in our regular perfed method, what would happen is we would cycle through all the possible moves, and what we do is once we reach those leaf nodes, the, the deepest uh, we search, we add one to the perfed move counter, and therefore we get a total of all the moves from the starting position. Now what I've done in perfed root is we set the starting position to all of the moves following the initial position. So what we do is we loop through each of, for instance, from the starting position, each of the 20 moves, we loop through them, and we come up with the number of moves that follow that initial move. So there are 20 different uh, uh, lines here, and so what happens is it makes the move A2, A3, then it calls perfed from that position, and counts a total of 380. Now, what it then does is it prints the move, and this function converts the move into this algebraic notation you're seeing, and then it shows you the number of moves. Then what we do is we have this total move counter, and we add it. This is the running total, so this will add 380 plus 420 and so on all the way down to get our grand total at the end. And then we set our perfed move counter to zero, so that it's reset for the next perfed uh, routine to go, so that it counts starting from zero. And it's really just that simple. It's just a real simple uh, way to divide this all up, so that when we find an error, we can figure out after which of the initial moves that error was yeah. caused, and then we will be able to pinpoint it from there. All right, until next time. Enjoy Java.